Hi there, this is uh, Shrikanth Sari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, so how to uh, convert uh, one uh, from data types from one type to another type uh, using uh, uh, explicit type casting. Using explicit uh, type casting here. Okay. So uh, in the last uh, lesson, uh, we have seen uh, so how or the automatic uh, type conversion works. Okay. So in explicit type casting uh, is a technique uh, where you need to explicitly convert uh, from one type to another. Okay. So let us see with an example. So let me launch the IDE. So we know that we are using a, a Turbo C IDE for uh, doing the C programming. So already I have created a uh, file name here uh, under the name uh, ecasts.c. Okay. So first let me add all the basic stuff like header files. So hash include yesterday.h. So hash include conio.h. Okay. So hash include conio.h and uh, the main function. So all the basic stuff. Okay. Get ch. Okay. So uh, to demonstrate uh, the how the explicit uh, conversion takes place, let's take uh, two variables here. So let's say uh, int a. Let's put some value into it. Uh, let's say 22, 22. Okay. Let's take another variable. Uh, let's say p. Let's put 7 in that. Let's take uh, now. Let's take a floating point variable. Uh, float. Float. Uh, let's say pi is equal to a pi p. Okay. So now let's uh, uh, let's uh, print out uh, the float value here. So let's see what happens. Let's print out the float value. Let's say percentage f. Uh, it's not directly. Let's say something like this. Uh, understandable message here. So pi is equal to f percentage f and uh, pi. Okay. So previous to that, let's uh, print out uh, the other things also. Let's put our CLRS here since we are in a TOS based Turbo CIDE. So let's print uh, a, a and B values also. Okay. Slash and slash T. So A is equal to percentage D. Uh, B is equal to percentage T. Comma A, comma P. Okay. Okay. So now let's see what happens here. Okay, so if you run the program, oops, we have an error here. Declaration is not allowed here. Oh my goodness. Since we are following a dot C format here, so our CLRSCR, contemporary CLRSCR should be after all the declarations have been done here. Okay. So if you observe here, uh, so you get the value of uh, this calculation uh, 22 by 7 as we have taken in our program as 3 here okay so that is not the case here okay so this is not the result you have uh, expected so the pi value uh, mathematically should be something like this 3.14 okay so in order to obtain that uh, what you need to do is uh, so let's do one thing let's keep our code a bit cleaner so let's take it here so pi is equal to a by p okay so again let's run the program so your result uh, should be in such a way that uh, since we are you are getting here uh, three uh, the three as uh, the, the the since the decimal part uh, is being truncated because uh, so you are doing a division of uh, both the things you have taken here as uh, integers here okay so uh, if you're taking two integers and we are when we are dividing uh, two integers uh, mathematically you need to expect uh, or at least the compiler thinks that when you are dividing two integers your result will also be an integer here, okay so that's the reason uh, you are getting a, an integer value when you are uh, running the program here okay so in order to make the exact in order to get the exact result you need to explicitly convert uh, one of the variable uh, into a float here okay so to, to do that uh, we need to explicit type conversion operator like this okay so if you do something like this explicitly you are converting this a from integer to a floating point value here okay so this satisfies the equation such that either of the one is a floating point value so such that you can uh, achieve the whatever the result you wanted here okay so now if you run your program so you get the exact uh, float value which is designated to be the pi value here okay so that's the reason 
uh, you need to be very careful when you are uh, uh, converting the types or when you are uh, developing mathematical applications uh, using uh, this floating point uh, floating or uh, when you are uh, uh, calculating a mathematical expressions values you need to be very careful so in this case uh, if you say something like this uh, uh, automatically if you don't use this uh, floating point variable so automatically the result the fraction part gets truncated and you get the result as uh, uh, the origin the result as the expect uh, not the expected result you might get uh, some weird results for the pi value here okay so you can if you want you can make either of the one as a float uh, okay it's not only uh, the starting initial one so so you get the same result here okay okay so this is the way uh, so how the implicit uh, typecasting works in uh, c programming language uh, so uh, you need to keep in mind that uh, so whenever uh, you wanted uh, to have uh, uh, convert explicitly uh, from a specific type to specific type uh, you can use uh, this floating point uh, uh, can use uh, that floating point operator enclosed in a brackets uh, so that explicit type conversion operator now float is an explicit type conversion operator which converts uh, an integer value a to a float and then the calculated result goes back to the goes back to the uh, original float value here okay so this is the way the explicit typecasting works in uh, c programming language so see you in the next lesson goodbye